Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. My name is Beth and I have a journal obsession. This is my time and space to journal, whether it's to be with paper, paint, stickers, tape, or some other found object. I like creating worlds in my journaling and it's a form of learning for me also. I love learning by journaling. Currently, I'm creating and learning the world of shells. Let's see where that takes me. June 8, 2017, World Ocean Day. In my travels, I have seen so much trash gotten tangled in, gotten stuck in, and needed help out of a couple of times and have eaten very bad stuff that causes me seasickness, S-E-A sickness. I have seen fish and turtles tangled in trash and fishing lines. I have heard tales of large fish, even whales, getting tangled in fishing line and drowning. My heart breaks for our endangered oceans. Yes, they belong to all of us. Let's come together and find better ways to treat them. Good morning, good morning. I am slowly cleaning out my mess from yesterday. There's a child outside playing with a dog. I think she's playing. It sounds like she's crying. Hold on. Poor little thing. She did fall. She tripped over the dog. We've all tripped over him now, except for my husband, thank goodness. Okay, we have a parade. Who doesn't love a parade? I'm thinking I need a background. I made a bunch of them. Oh, here's a good one. On Procreate. Isn't that gorgeous? Huge shells. Another shell, coral, a shell, part of a shell, coral, part of a shell, part of a shell. I just like the partial bits of them. That would make pretty fabric, wouldn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? I made that. I'm procreate. Oh, Lordy. I only had to get up three times last night. Headed back to the beach tomorrow. While you're watching this, I'm driving. Depending on when you watch it. I never say what time I'm going to put my videos up. But I do put them up at the same time. Which is 2.30 2 in the morning. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. Because two people, my most... Loyal viewers are both in Europe, and not that I have to, but one of my viewers has been with me for the beginning, the very beginning, when I was still quilting on YouTube. That's my other passion. For those of you that are finding me from YouTube, I mean from Instagram, the same video is on Instagram. It's just sped up with no other commentary. I'm just reading the journaling that I am translating for Ethan Mollusk, who is a shell that decided to leave England and come to South Carolina, where I live, in real life. I have a lot of stories in my stuff just because, why not? Can't do anything right now. Can't go anywhere. I do love to travel. We can't travel. Um, still having a rough time finding a, sh co a vaccine for me in South Carolina. Because they're out before I can get an appointment. And the regular channels to get an appointment aren't working so far. I haven't found. Now I have been at the beach. So I haven't been concentrating completely just by email. When I get back next week, I will be concentrating in person and or on the telephone. Which we have a possible, the same place we got tested when we had it, to find out when we were COVID free. Um, also gets the vaccine, but they get a very, because it's a private pharmacy, so they are privately owned. So they get a tiny amount not like a big pharmacy 
or a hospital or the health care, health and environmental control stuff. Which I tried them. I tried the big hospital. Can't get anybody to answer me. So, okay, so we have a tip in, sort of. Which is going to require. I got it all on here, didn't I? Going to require some stuff here. I just happen to have this left over from yesterday, which I think I will use. So, yes, I'm trying to put my stuff on Instagram. Um, which is the exact same video, but it's sped up a lot. And I'm just reading the journaling that I'm getting from Ethan Mollusk. So far, he's in the Atlantic. And this is a journey that it seems like it's going to take him about six years. Don't worry, I'm not doing the journaling for six years. I'm only picking out like two journal entries or three a year and translating them for him. And I do a lot of this kind of storytelling in a journal when, at least it ha started happening last year, when we couldn't go anywhere, couldn't do anything. It's like, well, I still want to make a journal entry every day. Now, I have a Hobonichi over the years. Right now, I have a Midori Ichi, which is a Midori journal that I'm treating like a Hobonichi. So I call it a Midori Ichi. And I have the... Marguerite Miller collage planner, but I'm using them differently. Go figure. And so the only thing I'm doing consistently is this actual journal. That's not the right word because I'm doing the other two consistently. Well, I'm behind, way behind in the Margaret Miller, Marguerite Miller thing. And I'm seeing a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube doing those, and I really, really want to get mine going. But this is where I tested the ink yesterday on a post it. And since I can't waste any kind of paper, everything is fair game. I'm going to put it on today's. kind of covering up Tiny Tim. That was the journal I did over December Daily. It was Tiny Tim. They're all on here. They're not under playlist because I'm not that organized or tech savvy. I'm thinking I might stamp a shell on here. Even though it's got lots of stuff on it, but I might stamp another one and cut it out and put it on the front of my tip-in. I saw Jose Naranya do a tip-in the other day, too. As well as bugs. That was another journal I did, bugs. For some reason, I like to work in series, and they usually last a month. I don't know why. No rhyme, no reason to it. It's just the way I work. Uh, this does not have to be cut out perfectly. These are some stamps that I got at the scrapbook store on the way to the beach. It's in uh, almost to Surfside, which is where our house is on the line of Surfside and Garden City. Fun fact. 1980 when I left home to come here for the summer I went straight to Garden City by way of Charleston that was a long time ago many moons ago a husband ago <laughs> new husband now thank God for many reasons still in touch with my ex-mother-in-law because they were kind of like family they were like family that's who I went and stayed with um, and then it turned into a mother-in-law situation. 
and she really kind of raised me as a young adult taught me how to cook which in, on, no reflection on her <laughs> wasn't that great <laughs> I now pretty much my husband pretty much does all of our cooking here because he's just a better cook than I am with simple products I try to get fancy products I can't make it work okay I have a covered flap now oh you know what I think it needs a purple dot We'll call these air bubbles. Oh, I love that. And now you can't tell that it's Christmas paper, which I had a London map on here, another collage that I made on Procreate and Tiny Tim. So, but this, the piece de resistance of all of this is the parade we witnessed. And here come the people in the parade. <laughs> Which this lady needs a little bit of help with her coral tentacles. Which, by way, are the same ones here. There. Now you can't tell that they were cut off and procreate. And they all have fish heads. Because they're in the ocean, and this is their ocean, their Earth Day parade. Look at this! I saw somebody do, and I, this is not new. This is not new, and I have to fake legs here and here because these models were with no legs in their previous careers as models, out of the water models. But I saw some. Buddy on Pinterest that had like cat heads and I know Diane Ravely's done stuff like this and it's not new but I'm like oh my god that would be fun with fish heads and then I need a reason for a parade so then we came up with the Earth Day thing I was like okay but I'd already done World Ocean Day I'm like can I have two I'm like sure we need to save our oceans we can have as many as we want Oh my God, this is so much fun. Some people would say this doesn't match. This doesn't go together. They're fading into the background. You can't see them. I think they're perfect. Are they too scaly? No. Fish can never have too many scales. And I would quite think that a girl in a parade on Earth Day would be in a guitar dress with coral for her head. In my world, yes, that happens. And in Ethan Mollusk's world, that happens. That's our sh that's our shell that's traveling. This poor girl looks like she might have to go to the bathroom. Don't potty in the ocean. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't help. Now let's see if we can't. This lady is. But it looks like she might be of African descent. So let's give her a little bit more color to her legs. Or maybe she's got go-go boots on now. That's what she has on. Do they call them go-go boots now? I don't think so. Maybe her go-go boots lace up. And we'll give her... There, that looks a little better. At least she has legs now. This one is of African descent, so let's give her. Now, one foot has been picked up, and one foot's going to have on a green sandal. Green sandal. To match her green Tory birch dress. Oh my god. That is so much fun. Do you... Should I outline them? No. How about let's just do stabilo. I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay, I knew I knew I do need Ethan in there. So let's put Ethan in there. And these are my own little shell that I made out of inspiration from Eric Carl and some jelly plates that I had down at the beach. Jelly plate prints and made by own. Now he is not a snail. He might look like a snail, but he's not. He is a mollusk. And he is watching the parade. Where was a good viewing spot for him? Right here. I'm going to just leave it because I love this. <laughs> call me crazy. No, please don't call me crazy. I love this. <gasps> Where's my envelope? I forgot my envelope again. Did I not glue it? Maybe I didn't glue this down good enough and I can get it in there. That's another reason to use a glue stick. Maybe we'll have to go this way. not to glue very well sometimes. Sometimes it comes to bite me. I don't know why you have a piece of paper right there. Oh, this is so fun. What does your Earth Day parade look like? I bet you it's not as much fun as that one. No, I'm not on drugs. <laughs> This is me without drugs. This is your brain on drugs over here. This is your brain on drugs. This is your brain off drugs. What's the difference? Don't know. Oh, there goes the gate for the dog. Goodbye. The people and the house are falling apart today. Thanks for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.